The Clinton campaign said that they were pleased with the decision and glad the matter is now resolved. One America's Emily Miller has more from Washington. The FBI announcement sent shockwaves through Washington. Few saw this coming. Just three days after the FBI interviewed Hillary Clinton, it announced that she broke the law, but there was not enough to prosecute her because she didn't intend to do it. Mrs. Clinton is clearly getting special treatment. I mean, there's no other federal government employee would be treated this way. The FBI director contradicted Hillary Clinton's previous statements that the emails were not classified at the time she sent them on her private server. There is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Comey said that they found over 100 classified emails. He also said that the servers may have been hacked and that she was just as careless when traveling overseas. She also used her personal email extensively while outside the United States, including sending and receiving work-related emails in the territory of sophisticated adversaries. But the FBI director didn't recommend prosecuting Hillary Clinton solely because he said she didn't intend to break the law. There is no requirement to prove intent. No requirement under the law whatsoever. I've done it. I've prosecuted people for it as a special agent of Army counterintelligence. Um, so the fact that the, the harm to our national security occurred, that's the damage. Republicans say that this was a coordinated political decision. We are seeing the president out there today. If he knew that there was going to be you know, wrongdoing coming out of this morning's press conference, you probably wouldn't have seen the president being with Hillary Clinton. Just hours after the FBI announcement, President Obama gave Hillary Clinton a ride on Air Force One and then stumped for her presidential campaign in North Carolina. Today's findings were a clear example and a clear showing of the indictment of her judgment and her character and the fact that she is not fit to be the president of the United States. The criminal aspect of Hillary Clinton's email server is likely over, but the civil suit, the Freedom of Information Act, to get all those emails that the FBI has uncovered will continue. Judicial Watch told me today that they are trying to depose Hillary Clinton in person. Emily Miller, One America News, Washington.